Their team captain, number 12, Giselle C. Their libero, number one, Christine Agno. Their head coach, Mr. Cesar Shaq De Los Santos. Introducing the starting lineup of the Lady Eagles. Number three, Michelle Catherine Morente. Number four, Anna Lorene Copico. Number ten, Margarita Tejada. Number twelve, Julia Melissa Morado. Number 16, Amy Ahomiro. Their team captain, number two, Eliza Valdez. Their libero, number 13, Denise Michelle Lazaro. Their head coach, and the sword, Coach Ty Bundit. To both teams, let's get it on! Well, here we go, Volleyball Central, ready to host game number two. The starters on your screens, the first six for both teams. You talk about the youth of Ateneo. Kailangan din natin pag-usapan yung youth nitong uh, FEU. That's why this is a, a match a lot of people looking forward to because uh, pretty much the same situation. I mean, you look at the starting six for FEU, uh, Kasugo, Zimborio, uh, Bernadette Pons, freshman also, uh, Bagong Salta. And of course, para sa Ateneo, Morado, Gopico, and then Michelle Morente, who did not play, as we said in the pregame, did not start, but was very impressive in the, the minutes and the time that she got off the second set onwards that she starts today for last year's finalist. Impressive first point by the Lady Eagles here. I was observing them even against National University and they look like they were in high spirits. I was talking to you about Eliza Valdez at the start of the coverage. We've seen it and we've covered so many games already. Uh, here in the UAP, we've seen some of the players, star players or, you know, veteran seniors, that when they transition into a team that rebuilds, pati sila parang umiiba yung laro nila. Si Baldo, as uh, she's fondly called, didn't seem like she was like that in that first game. She seemed like she was very happy. She seemed like she was in good spirits. She was encouraging everybody dahil ngayon. Kasi may kasamang leadership role na rin siya dito ngayon. Of course. Na siya oh, ngayon. Tama yan and it's uh, really setting a good example to the rest of the team. Because if the energy that you're mm. showing them is down ka, Charlie then most Mays likely Mays. the others would be down as well. Let's go to Selena Dagdag for additional reports from the Lady Eagles. Yes, well, Boom and Anne, it is interesting to note that the final practice or the final training that the girls had prior to this matchup was actually held just a few hours earlier or this morning. And more than anything, Coach Thai encouraged the girls to have a happy fighting or in other words, come into the game and truly enjoy it, have fun, especially as the girls really worked hard and pushed themselves in training the recent week. Now, originally, I had an injury report with me as regards to Ariel Patnongon since she suffered a mild sprain the recent week during practice, but I was able to speak with coach Parley just a few minutes before this game and apparently she's good to go she's good to play so to go today the girls will be coming in with a complete lineup and they sound more confident as they go to bounce back no more dwelling on their recent loss well, they're very confident about the way they train also and when you talk to them when you talk to the coaching staff they say they prepare for for situations even what 24 24 24 21 yeah, they prepare for the and i know we talk about this because they have again a little bit of a communication issue with their thai coach but they say in training they know what to do they prepared for uh everything that can come at them but as we know and and as you know very well as being part of the uap it's different when game time happens well it's different but it's better to come prepared correct yes and naman bubulag bulagan ka it is 4-3 now for FEU as we speak to Judy Sarah. Hello, Judy. 
Bumin and gaya nga nang nabanggit kanina, eh, naging maganda talaga ang naging epekto ng unang panalo para sa FU Lady Tamaraos. Nung nakausap ko nga itong si Coach Jack de Los Santos, ay nasabi niya sa akin na mas lalong nabustang ang moral at nadagdagan din ang excitement ng kanyang mga manlalaro dahil dito. Din nga ni Coach, happy ako dahil good start ito para sa amin. Hiniling ko lang sa kanila after ng game namin sa UI na sana mamunti namin ang ganitong laro. May iwasan ang mistakes namin sa service at receive at mag-level up pa kami. Well, going into this game naman, malinaw na malinaw para sa Lady Tams na contending team ang kanilang kakaharapin. Kaya nga daw, puspus ang paghahanda at pag-ensayo ang ginawa nila. Paalala nga ni Team Captain Giselle C sa kanyang mga teammates kanina, mag-focus tayo sa game at sa kalaban natin at wag na wag sa crowd. May sarili tayong naro at ito ang maaaring magpanalo sa atin. That's all for now, Bumin Ann. Maraming salamat, Judy. A few errors here on the side of Ateneo has given FEU a 6-0. Three lead. These new faces of FEU in that first game, they look pretty solid. Especially, well, as you mentioned, Bernadette Pons, but even Simborio was solid. Nobody home. Through the block. And, uh, of course, Boy. right now, what Ateneo needs is to put a stop to FEU when they go homes. No question about that to uh, Valdez. Now serving his team captain, Eliza Valdez. Ali, great serve. Well, we all know what's impressive about her is the fact that she's also a very well-rounded player. Not one of those one-dimensional attackers. She's also a great receiver and a good server. Very simple. Very hard to read. Kahapul dito ang Ateneo, 6 all. FU looking to regroup. Agno able to pick it up. Double block. They send it for a free ball. Michelle gets it through. FU courtesy of Bernadette sends it back. Boy, put up. But oh. Dawson crosses over. Her whole body crossed over. So a rally here from 6-3, Ateneo, four straight points. Also credit the blocking of Ateneo. <laughs> yes, at net. I'm looking at Coach Tai, who's almost right in front of us here at the bottom of your screens, telling Michelle to go for it with a smile. Baga, kung sa atin yan, dikdikin mo pa. Oh, let's see, though. Bola ng FEU. And an error on the net. What a waste because Lazaro had that. It wasn't a strong attack. At the net, called on the Lady Eagle from Kasuga. Serving for the Lady Tamara, number eight, Samantha Dawson. So Sam Dawson now on deck at 7 all. Good one so far here in the first set. Lazaro, Morado, back set. In the Lalayan, C picks Bernadette. Tejada, Michelle. Checked at the net. Ahumiro, that's her side. See, I, I, very promising. Julia Morado has been very solid the last two games, and she's showing it now. 8 7. Join the break movement, have a break, have a Kit Kat. Magandang hapon, muli. Salat na mga nonod sa atin dito Studio 23. Uh, the UE going down to National U earlier in our first game. National U 2-0 to start off Season 76. Ito po labanan ng Ateneo at ng FEU. And also, mga matchup din. Nakikita natin mga rookies. But the veteran Giselle C and the newbie uh, uh, Julia Morado is an interesting matchup to Anne. That's right. We were talking about uh, Morado earlier. Um, and uh, we were saying uh, that uh, even at this very young age, you would normally see setters on their first year very tentative in terms of moving inside the court. But uh, Morado really showing uh, her presence. If anything, she just looks comfortable. She doesn't look, as you said, tentative, yung, uh, nervous. Even in that first game, the bright lights of Araneta Coliseum. And for the first time, as Almiro gets the point for Ateneo. For the first time in five years, Ateneo doesn't have a short setter. That's right, so... Uh, have a tall one this time. As tall as Tejada. Yeah, you're right. Gatorade fueled spike of the game. Gatorade win from within. Because even when they were back, si Jem Ferrer was the si, uh, Giselle Tan, yung yeah. ganit, diba? who's also a short setter. And uh, it becomes a disadvantage actually for Ateneo because uh, the person that the setter is blocking is the outside hitter on the other side. That's a great point. This is eight. It's an eight to 
one to run right now from 6-3, Marge Tejada on deck. Much is expected also from Marge here in this second year of hers, no, Anne? That's right, but uh, so far, I think dito naman, no, for Ateneo, what they really need is to play their game, really focus and take in all the experience. So far, they're doing well here in the first set. Look at that set by Murad. This hit by Michelle Morente. But she's not afraid to swing, isn't she? That's the most important thing if you're an outside hitter. I mean, this is really what I love about the UAP when the season comes in, whether it's basketball or, or volleyball. The new talent that you'll get to see, it's always a fresh sight. Palma. Morado was there. Morente. Valdez. Overcooks that one. Valdez hits it wide. Point, Lady Tamara. FEU also very interesting. Mm, Looking at the yes. lineup now, we've seen um, this FEU team with a shorter lineup. But this year, you can see that they're really adding more height. Yes. Last year, it was just Palma. Now we have uh, Kasugod. Back set, Ahumiro. Was also shown tremendous improvement from the season from last year. She looks fitter. She looks uh, more comfortable. Point was awarded to Antonio. 12 to 12 serving nine, rather. Good one here in the first set. Exciting match between two teams that have a lot of great young talent. The push at Nahule. Palma was so raw last year. You remember her, and from last year, just a little bit awkward when there, it comes to yeah, yeah. moving inside the court. But she looks uh, a little more, yeah. And even her body. Different. I agree. This is also what we like seeing from year to year as that's a, a serve of Palma wearing the brunt of the, the Bernadette Bond serve. And you know, speaking of Bernadette Bond's and her serve, that is the one thing that a coach Shaq saw about her when they were watching her in the qualifiers. There was one point that she had eight straight jump serves in qualifiers that were not returned. Wow. And they're not doing it now because they're they're telling her to rest up. They don't want to. They don't want her to exert too much effort Three early on. But that's one of the things that nakita nila dito from this Talisay Bacolod native, as si Bernadette Pons, that incredible jump, incredible power on the serve. Kaya kitong si Palma na nahawak ng pinglikut niya. Hindi pa jump serve yun na. Chelsea always a solid server. Underhand set to Valdez off the block. This should be a strong rotation for Ateneo. The Wishy Owa moment of the game open up to everyday surprises. It is 14, serving 11. Misreceived by FEU. Copico, Valdez flying. Perfect set, and Agno could not get to it. That was her best hit so far. Very clean point for Valdez. Oh, Coach Ty loving it. And that's what he's probably looking for. Copico, the MVP. Sa palarong pambansa. Doesn't hurt if you get a little lucky. And go to 16-11. Ateneo ahead in the first set. Enjoy the break movement. Have a break. Have a kit cat. Back here at the arena in San Juan for a nice game between Ateneo and FEU. Let's look at some of the sequences. Ito yung takeoff, the runway open for Eliza Valdez. Suzuki drive to win the play of the game. Suzuki swift desire, all your desires made compact from Suzuki way of life. And that gives them a five point lead here in the first set. 